Welcome to our lesson about animating parameters. In this lesson, we're going to get the same effect that we achieved in our previous lesson by animating constraints. Instead, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to animate parameters. Let's use mate2 and angle1, the angular mate. Let's double click on mate2. The edit dimension dialog window opens. We see that this is dimension 1. Let's close it. Now let's double click on angle 1. We see that this dimension is D2. OK, let's open the parameters window now. Let's check here to export the parameters. Let's click Done. Now we're going to change the angular value to 0. Double click, enter 0, click Accept. Now let's go to Inventor Studio, Environments tab, Inventor Studio. Here I'll select Parameter Favorites. Let's select Dimension 1 and Dimension 2. Click OK. We see these parameters now under the Animation Favorites. Let's open the Animation Timeline. As you see, we still have the animation from our previous lesson. If I try to animate the parameters that I selected without deleting the existing animation, Inventor is not going to let me. Let's just try it out. Let's right-click on our first dimension in the tree browser and select Animate Parameters. And I get a warning prompt. The specified object D1 uses the same parameter as Mate2. Delete the other track before continuing. OK. Let's go ahead, right-click, and delete. Let's delete this as well. And let's give it a try again. Right-click on D1, Animate Parameters. The start position is going to be 0. The end position will be 1.75 inches. The duration, 5 seconds. Click OK. And let's test by dragging the slider. Let's animate the second parameter now. Right-click, Animate Parameters. The end angular value will be 360 degrees. The length, 5 seconds. OK. And let's drag the slider to preview our animation. Looks OK. Let's render it. We'll change the size, let's say, to the smallest video size, 320 by 240. Render type, illustration, output tab. Let's change the file location, lesson 14 and save. Launch player is checked. Let's click Render. Now accept this video codec, and let me pause the video for a moment while it renders the remaining 20 seconds. OK, we're back. The rendering's almost done. And our player launches to show us the animation that we've rendered. This concludes our lesson about animating parameters.